All right, so here we are. We've made uh, a couple of crucial mistakes for uh, in terms of mix preparation. So number one was that we we named the audio files wrong, meaning we named it uh, as if we were to prepare for the multi tracks, not for the playbacks. For the playbacks, yeah. So we used the same numbers um, groupings that we have used for the playbacks. So everything that's in group one hundred. Uh, we used the same number for every string articulation um, that was grouped. But this is a different story with the multi-tracking. Every track needs to have its own number. Yeah. So, so um, for example, strings like violin long needs to be 101, and then uh, viola long needs to be 102, cello long 103, and so on. Yeah. And we gave every, everything was now 100, so Jay can't really do the track matching. But since we're trying not to use too many uh, fake strings, he said to kind of leave it for now. And for example, with the hits, they all have the same numbers. They will be on the same stem anyway. They will be treated as the same sound. So hopefully that kind of mistake can be fixed. And the other one is that uh, somehow we've named the tracks within Pro Tools uh, multi-track one, multi-track two, multi-track three, multi-track four, so that also it's a bit strange, so you can't import it, so you can't see what kind of sound it is. So it needs to be, the track needs to have the name of the audio file. So the audio file is named in the right way. So I'll show you here. But then here, they were renamed. Multi track one, two, three, four. And so what we now need to do is go into each session and re import the audio and then just leave the name as it is. So that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to split the work and then hopefully we can get that over to Jake. The playbacks are the tracks of the articulations and instruments we have grouped together, bounced out and used within the recording session as a guide for the players to listen back to should they need it. To solve this naming issue though, we first renamed all the numbers of the audio tracks from the live recording, then re-imported the audio tracks into Pro Tools, which auto names this nicely for you, so you don't have to manually name each track. This is all important because Jake Jackson, who's mixing the score, needs to have a really clear overview of the tracks to be able to do a process called track match, and also for flexibility within the multi-tracking, as he will have his own template, way of bussing and grouping reverb and delay, for example. So, sorry, <laughs> <I'm a bit> loud. <laughs> so we're at a very exciting point um, of this process. So we're at the last two cues, and we'll be um, talking through these a little bit more, go into depth because they're quite deciding moments as well. Uh, the last bit of the film, and yeah, should we just go straight in? Yes, do it. Um, so just gonna get an overview of the piece quickly, and then look at which sounds we're gonna keep from the. Samples, orchestral samples. So we're basically, and I think that's kind of effective. We're keeping in. You play it now with everything in. Everything in, just yeah. Because I generally tend to just, I just change it around as it goes. I'm just looking and thinking at the same time, finding a place for this. All these all my orchestral tracks are going to work. That said, that's a short one. So. A lot, a lot of time I'll overlap tracks because it's because I, I know they're similar sounds, so it won't it won't matter. So I'm just kind of just trying to make it neat and possible on, on, on my um, sessions here. Short shorts. I'm using the shorts quite a lot, so that's fine. This is, looks like the kind of cue we're going to use a fair amount of the samples. Helps just make it just a little, not much, but just, it just helps to just bed it in a little bit.
short one. So that's just hearing it. That's generally our short little cue. So these short strings are like on the lower set of tracks. I do that, and these on that, go on that set of tracks to confuse everybody. Something like that. sound on this set of tracks and closer which will help the sound a bit I think. Um, okay. And what else do I want to do? Uh, I need a drink. Excuse me a sec. Right. With the live uh, strings or live sounds? Uh, no I just kind of I've just listened through to it which is quite nice. I'm just and I'm just rearranging things that are in the wrong okay. place or things that um are that need you know, things that should be in a mix or shouldn't, things that shouldn't be in a mix. So I'm just going to go through and look at this, look at these um, sample sounds and see if we're going to keep them or not. Um, I generally, I've just gone through and just see if it's like that kind of stuff is staying in because it's not. I'm taking out anything that's like the kind of prettier sample samples. We haven't really used those throughout the thing. All the effective stuff I've kept in just to help bolster um, the ones you've recorded. Right. Again, this woozy stuff staying in. This grand, grandly trim. Yeah, harmonics as well, um, like that chatter, just because it's... That one we'll probably keep in, it's got a weird effect on it, which is quite kind of cool. Um, some short, well, quick, I'll look at those, whether we need those or not later, just the sound, when we get there. Um, and I'd just like to go through and just double check. So keep that in. And now I just want to go through and just check all these sounds, double check they sound like they as best they can, or they, they should all work because they're um they're um yeah they should all work because they're sounds I've done before, so I just want to mm. check they sound nice there. Did that hiss so curry then? Yeah, it's on, the, on no, it's, this hiss isn't on this on this particular cue, so it's on it's on some cues, but not this one. Okay. So, yeah. This is, is this one of your one? Mm -hmm. Sorry. That's okay. Nice. Um, <laughs> little bit of compression on it as well. It's nice. More hits, more hits, more hits, more hits, more hits. Okay. Um, let's have a look at this synth bass. So now I'm just going to go through and look at these new sounds and make them sound nice. But this is just the low end synth thing, doesn't need kind of anything really. So I'll sort of balance that later and then, what's this, the other heartbeat thing wasn't it? So. Okay, well something just to help that cut that through a little bit more I think. So, aggressive. How did you treat the tempora? Uh, just a bit of EQ actually. Just not just a bit of EQ. I quite brought out some of the low end stuff and then a bit more of the brightness. Okay. But uh, not much. Bit of that and a bit of EQ. A bit of EQ and a bit of reverb. And this this is nice. This little this pad is lovely. Mm. It's a really nice pad. That one, love it. It's really nice. Look at that. Nice, From Christian's it? felt piano. Yeah, it's really, it's, yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So now I've gone through, and um, obviously I've gone these set sounds fast because I've done them already. So it's mm -hmm. a case of popping the new ones, um, and then I'm just going to go through a little play and balance and stuff. So do the first couple of times I do this without the um, without the dialogue, and just go through and just get an idea of how the sound how it's now fitting together. <laughs> Yeah. No, that's 
like a uh, how about a glass bottle thing. That the top end of that with the bass is what I'm hearing. <laughs> it is tricky again. Just pulling that violin in a bit. It's a bit loud. Quite, it's quite bright there. Yeah. So I pulled it on the spot mic and I'm doing it on the tree mic, which is nearest to. Let's try and pull it in a bit. A bit of a difference. Right then. So it's difficult to explain what I do here, really, because I just do it by listening and by, you know. We see uh, our uh, scared looking person. <laughs>
the gritty. Yeah, it's gr getting grittiness. Loud, isn't it? Grittiness is that a word? Grittiness. Yeah, grittiness. Of grittiness yeah, of yeah, strings. Yeah. 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 One second. To, to what level? Like, what's your mix level when you deliver the stems? I, I deliver the stems at full thing, but try and make sure that I, the music is pretty good balance at turn down a set amount. Right. You know, for the so on this, you leave some headroom as well. No, I don't leave headroom. No. Okay. No, I give it because if, if it turns into a CD, it's going to be full headroom. So it goes to it goes to as loud as it should go. Okay. Um, and then. Um, but you don't. So you don't have any limits or anything on there. No, 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 no. Okay. So, so, it, it, so, it, so it's no, it's not, it's not mastered. It's just yeah. mixed to a decent okay. level. Okay. That might be a bit like that. Don't want to, we don't. You don't ever want to take people away out of the out of the picture, do you? Section yeah, the harmonics. So, I, so I had a fade out originally as well, but the director um, actually liked it. Oh, okay, so, so okay, so okay, fine. Um, so just a bit, just in there. A, I think if it just a tap, just a stays bit less um, on this level, possibly. So is it, it come down too far, do you think? Just maybe just slightly. At the very end, though. Do I, need to, do I need to extend it, the note, do you think? So it actually goes to the downbeat oh. of the... because of the gap. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, so I, that, that's, that's enough, is it? Yeah, 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 okay, that's enough. Right. It was just enough. Equal power fades for where there's a timing change and equal gain for where there's a um, volume change. Right. Generally. This is like, it looks like I know I'm doing this. This is just, I know, generally works with the, there's an amount to do this. I don't know. <laughs> It feels much neater, yeah. 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 It's much it, I mean, it needs to be chaotic, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the question is, yeah, how how sorry about that. Um, how how much do we want to um, tighten it up against the thing? Do we like it a little bit loose? Yes. Or do we want it a bit? Uh, not particularly loose. So, but so, so tight oh, is yeah. definitely good. Yeah. <laughs> turn that scream down because we have to hear that every time we uh, press play. <laughs>
you don't get confused as to what's happening. Oh, yeah, back. totally. It does but, uh, make so much clearer, yeah. isn't it? So much clearer. Um, so I've got a little over I need to fix in here. Hello. 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 Do you want to have a listen? Yeah, sure. That's all right. Have you guys met yet? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure we have. Jake, Daniel. Hello. Hello. There's all the orchestrated parts of the... Oh, great. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's it. That's it all going. Good. Good. Actually. Yeah. Second last cue. Nice. So, shall we listen through? Yeah. Shall we listen through to see where we're at? things did you say it would be possible to slightly extend the harmonics yes the, the, this, this gap here yeah yeah maybe it's just yes, that's gonna now be, it does feel like it just dies down as well exactly so let's just do this let's just extend that and then just do a nice little crossfade over that and it'll be fine though Two other cellies playing these. No, no. These things. Yeah. Those ones. Is it? Um, would it be possible to push them slightly? It certainly is. Yeah, absolutely. Let's put them on a different stem to the short strings because that's going to be. Um, that's I like the level when um, everything else fades out and they continue. There. Um, I like a level of those there. So just all here. <laughs> so the first four or something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should yeah. I should I push up these strings so that they just kick in a little bit louder just because there's a bit of a drop as as the um yeah. <laughs>
here we are. We are officially uh, officially try. done. Yes. Got some dry and sat again, got some nuts in my mouth. It's our um, last day after when did we start? I can't even remember. A month ago? Congratulations. It feels, it feels ages, but it hasn't <laughs> yeah. actually been that long. It's been fun and it's sounding good. So how did you feel the last the last day went? Went slightly went it's on bit slightly, slightly longer. Bit later, but that's off that's because the queues got more complicated and a bit longer yeah. and yeah. we did well. I mean it's you know, to finish what we have done is, is good. It's not late, is it? So that's nice. Um Um I thought it went really well actually. The, the, they all sound really nice. It's all mm. Put it together nicely. I think we've got the nice arc all the way through. It's important. Yeah. And we did it in order pretty much, which was quite nice in the end as well, because you get this feel, the sounds progress, which is nice. Um, I'm really happy. I think it was gone very well. Cool, yeah. I'm really happy as well. Tommy? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. It's really great. Um, what else is there to say? I think we covered, um, we covered most. I think there was kind of one thing maybe um, to consider when we were trek. Uh, laying that we were scared a little bit that it wasn't quite in time right um but i think listening back to the hits they were pretty much they were there where they were intended so that fear is gone good um, yes and it, most importantly is i guess that everything was in sync with itself if yeah. it's if it's yeah. out a little bit, we had one cue that was out a little bit for some reason but then if everything is out at the same time you can just oh is it yes that one thing yeah, yeah. so we so I to, when we realized that was wrong i moved that the mix yeah. to the right place and yes, that exactly. doesn't have the right timestamp on it, but we're delivering it in a postal session, so yeah. that'll be fine. They will yeah. change it, so yeah. And if they do move it, it's, it's overlapping, so it's obvious that something wrong with it. So. Mm. And then um, the numbering was so we used the same numbers for kind of different sounds. Was that a big problem? Then it was not a big problem. It just took a little bit longer. But I mean, we're not talking huge because they were they were similar sounds. They were just some sometimes it was strikes and a or you know it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's not a big okay. Problem. Cool. Um, Great. Uh, well, thanks a lot for your My work. My pleasure. Thanks no, so thanks, well, thanks for getting me to do it. Really Cheers. appreciate it. Nice one. After two full days of mixing, we have almost come to the bottom of the list of tasks to do on our end. The finished mixers have now got to go over to the post-production house where they will balance our music with the dub and foley. Usually the composer is not really required to be present, but of course, nosy as we are, we have some footage for you in part two. <laughs>